hey everyone i hope you are doing well so i'm going to give you a few tips today um and if you apply them great right? if you don't that's totally fine as well so half term okay number one tip is your mindset yeah have a positive like a mindset now you don't have to have a positive mindset all the time let me get let me just dig deep here okay it's really important that we um i think in a positive uh, way and that can be hard because we know our kids we know how hard it can be sometimes and that and that's absolutely fine what i have found in the past is that if i'm really say positive all the so-called challenges i have found solutions i've coped much more better you know matthew's having a meltdown in the back of the car because we are on safari uh say was it west midlands it was and no amount of you no know, what was it communication with him will matter and this is what i was trying to explain you know to darren yeah is that you know being calm what was it just being for sure you no know, i will help now i could have been like really negative oh, here we go again i'm never going to take him on safari or to the zoo again right but that's not me that's not me because sometimes if i see like in myself like i'm thinking in a negative way what i will do is try to turn it around yeah i try to turn it around and for some people that's really really hard to do because they can't find that solution and that and i've been there myself um but we can learn from our mistakes so number one is mindset yeah we need to reprogram our like you no know, brain to have you no know, wake up in a positive you no know, like mood yeah be happy that it's half term yeah be happy to spend that time with your child and uh, you know love them for who they are you know embrace them oh, no matthew yesterday and today he's been in such a happy mood there was one moment like earlier like this morning when he wasn't but i was in a positive kind of mood and for some reason he like turned himself around i don't know how and that but you know i sat next to him i gave him cuddles you know that kind of thing and then he was happy so I think like sometimes he just wants that like interaction and other times he just wants to go to his room and he wants to chill out and that's absolutely fine. So being positive is really, really good. <laughs> um, so yeah, so, so that's really number one because the way that we think. Um, so and even if you are say in like a bad, I was in a bad mood or a stress mood because something has happened, try to think um even if it's not at that time ways that you could have turned that around for, uh, for next time and that uh, uh, matthew was meant to be going on a safari um with his holiday club and we decided that maybe it wasn't right for him to go and then his teacher kind of said like half of we you know put the form in sometimes what is it uh, with our kids is that they see us parents as really you know kind of safe but also you know we'll we'll push boundaries and 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 we've definitely seen this in say matthew um and i was saying yeah but he had a meltdown in the car and then it's like yeah but it might have not have been about the safari it could have been something else you know that you know his tummy or something and i was like oh yeah and so but yes he's missing out on this trip but there will be other trips that he can go on with his holiday club um in like the future because we got may half term we got the summer holidays and that and it's like i want matthew and rebecca to do like everything yeah 
I want to try stuff, you know, I want to go on a plane, yeah, with, uh, with them, yeah. Yes, there's this <laughs> big force, negative, you know, like alien in here saying, yeah, but you might have a meltdown, Misha. What are you going to do? Because you can't take him off if you, what was it, up in the air. And this is true. This is true. And that's like, yeah. But then, like the other side of, what was it, my mind, is saying, yeah, but Misha, how amazing would it be if he absolutely loved it? And he's sitting there and he's bouncing along like on the plank because he loves the sensation of going up. And then it will level off and then he'll be fine. And then going down, what was it? So there's pro and cons about like everything. And what we got to do as parents is yes, risk success, but also take that risk as well. I mean... A meltdown is a meltdown, usually because it's you no know, sensory uh, related. Yeah, especially you no, know, it could be the noise and stuff. So there's other channels on YouTube which um, I spoke to this one, and I said, "How do you cope?" Because it's like you no, know, and she said, "Well, having a blanket to go over him is really good." Um, and also headphones. I said, yeah, but he doesn't wear headphones. And she said, well, you know, if you try, what was it, before and see. But otherwise, it's like he might, because the noise of the plane, he might want them. Some other people have said, you know, about taking calming, I say, medicine and that. Um, so there are solutions to the problems and that. You know, what happens if you are out and, you know, and this has happened to me in my work and it has happened, like, as a parent when, you know, Matthew sat down in the middle of a shopping, um, you know, place. I think it was Morrison's and that was okay, you know, but he's done it in a garden, a garden centre. He's done it, like, in the road and I had to really quickly kind of pick him up and stuff. But... You know, what happens when he gets to, you know, he's older, he's a teenager. You know, we need strategies for that. And it's kind of, I think, because of my uh, career within the care section, and uh, I've really kind of have review kind of things and went, right, okay. So if that person is prone to do that, yeah because he's done it or she done it over and over again and they know it's a reaction then we need to change it we need to do something about it and it's the same you know with let's say Matthew I mean Matthew doesn't do it like often and um he, he done it at Saul once um the last holiday and uh, what we found well I found because it's always because Darren's working um a lot bless him is that um I just you know, went down. I went, look, it's okay. Like, you're going on a day trip yeah, with your friends. You're going to have fun. Let's get up. And uh, I held my hand and we got up. And that uh, one, two, three, up. And we got up. And he kind of stood there for a moment. They look at me. It's like, I don't like you. But he got on that bus and he had a, the most fantastic day. So, at the end of the day, people, I think holidays, yeah, are with our kids, it can be fun. And certainly I'm going to have great fun, yeah, with Rebecca and Matthew. And that. And some days I may feel that I'm, you know, I'm tired. And I've already said to Darren, like, when he comes home, like, if I'm tired, I'm having a rest. Yeah, I'm going upstairs to watch my programs and stuff, yeah. Because I need, like you, whether you're mum or dad, you need and I need, like, us time, you know, couple time. But we also need self time as well. So, like now, I'm doing this video. But I watch other YouTube videos. I've done coaching courses and that, you know. 
I'm feeling alive, people, yeah. I mean, I had my hair cut, what was it, the other day? I think it could have got a bit shorter, um, but I'm happy with it. I'm going to get it highlighted again soon. Um, I'm going to, I'm losing weight. Um, I've got some shakes. Um, I'm really into like the gym now. Um, I'm going to like get into tennis and stuff like that. So I've got a lot of things that I want to do. And in half term week, my routine yeah, my routine and your routine, whatever you do, it's all messed up, isn't it? It's like, oh, but it's only two weeks. It's only, what was it, two weeks and you no, know, love it. Absolutely just enjoy it because, you know, our kids are only kids, you know, and um, make the most of it. Like we had... Like we get in our garage converted i'll do another video on that but and the builder wanted to come on the 19th and i was like no it can't happen and because i didn't want to change what i have already planned for the kids they would hate being in all day and a dad said oh my wife won't budge on the date can you do the 25th and then i just i felt it wasn't displaying like enough so i said right i'm gonna email him so i did and i said look um i've got you new know, uh, wins um and my son is autistic and we have you no know, got plans to do like activities in the day um so could we you know start on the 25th when they go back to school because uh, that way the kids won't be under your feet and also it will mean that um we can do like our activities because otherwise no it's just not going to work and he said yep completely understand and so that's what you got to do yeah you got to you know sometimes work around things in order to make what was it your kids happy and then other times you got to work around things so that you are happy as well um, so on this occasion, it was like, it made me happy and it made, what was it? The kids are going to be happy because we're going to do some amazing activities and you lot hopefully will be coming with us. Um, and yeah, so anyway, I hope that has been an interesting video. <sighs> I think also being organized can help, but like sometimes we are not and that's absolutely okay. Um, like Monday is a day where I'm not too sure what we are doing. Tuesday is soft play. Wednesday we're going out with a friend. Thursday Matthew's got his club, and then Rebecca and I we are doing something. Not too sure. And Friday, uh, you no know, daddy's home, so we do something with him. Saturday the kids will be going over to like my parents, um, and they will stay there until Easter Sunday, and then we start again on on. It's a Monday, the bank holiday, Dan's working um, because he wants to. And that's absolutely fine. So, again, it's kind of like, right, what we're going to do. It'd be you know, a case of you know, weather and, and stuff like that. It could well just mean that we go out for coffee and they have, what was it, Rebecca will have some lunch and you know, stuff like that. So every day will be something different and that, but... You no, know, the set, the routine of just chilling out for in the morning, whether that's for one hour, two hours, three hours, until lunchtime, it doesn't matter. Um, and then we go out in the car, and then we are all happy, and hopefully they will go to bed, um, and sleep well. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I hope that has been a really interesting video. If you have any comments in that, please do um comment below and remember to take care of yourself as well yeah especially your mindset the things that we like say to ourselves yeah the things that we say to others as well um and also be careful what others will say to you and maybe don't take them so literally if they are being negative you know it could be a partner it could be you no know, what was it say family or you no know, friends and that 
the way that we think is really important and that and like I say to like you know, Rebecca about Sark, you know, we can like when she gets upset at that, I was like, so what could make you feel better? And she and she will tell me and then we force it, we'll try to do that, like if we can, like what will make you feel better, Rebecca? Oh, ice cream. <laughs> so okay, well we ice cream is a really good idea, but at the moment yeah, it's like nine o'clock in the morning. Let me see whether we got any ice cream. Oh, we don't have any ice cream, even though we do. <laughs> or it could well be, oh, yeah, we'll have ice cream a bit later. So what else could make you feel better? And it's like a hug. <laughs> so I always feel that like uh, being like honest and that with her is the best kind of policy and that and just having fun as well. Anyway, guys, I'm rattled on for a long time. Um, I'm going to be making, say, videos more around kind of mindset and stuff, but it's going to be on my coaching channel, which I have zero subscribers, but I'm going to put those videos on. And, uh, and if you want to watch them, then you are most, most welcome to. Um, and yeah, and I will see you very, very soon. Take care. Bye for now.